So hi, and welcome to our webinar on 3D Meteorology. I'm Joanne Malalfa, Graphic Designer at Nucleum. I'll be your host for this event. On today's agenda, we'll start with an introduction of our expert and the objective. Then we'll explore what meteorology is, its utility, and present various associated technology. We'll showcase wheel projects and introduce the services we offer here at Nucleum. Finally, we conclude with the Q&A sessions. During the webinar, feel free to ask your questions in the chat sections. Also, we'll have live polls accessible in the same area. So let's get started. Today, it's with great pleasure that we introduce Adam Pinard, a mechanical engineer and 3D scanning expert who brings several years of experience as an instructor. The three key objectives of this webinar are, firstly, to help you learn more about the technology, secondly, to understand its utility, and finally, to empower you to apply your new knowledge to optimize your industrial processes. I'll now hand it over to our expert, Adam. Thank you, Joanie, for the presentation. Uh, thank you all for joining uh, this uh, webinar. Um, I'll try to be as interesting as possible, but the content will do it by itself. So before we start, uh, we will go with the definition of 3D metrology, and we will start just by a quick live poll with you. So if you want just to answer this question, uh, either with a pop-up on your uh, application or in the poll uh, section of Teams. So which of the following statements best describes your knowledge of 3D metrology solutions? So questions are starting to enter. Uh, the answer, sorry. Beginner. Oh, So we have a... A crowd that is uh, fairly intermediate and beginner and couple of advents. So I believe this webinar will uh, have um, information that will suit uh, all of your needs. I'll try to be as uh, instructive as possible. Again, it's an, introdu an introduction to 3D metrology. There will be a couple application also in the end. So feel free to ask your question uh, in the Q&A uh, section and we will be uh, happy to answer uh, your question during the presentation or uh, by email after. So defining 3D metrology. Explore the fundamentals of 3D metrology, 3D scanning and related technology. So before we start, just go with a, a definition of the metrology. Basically, metrology is the method that we will use to take a real object okay so a real part in the real world and digitize it or 3d scan it to get the 3d model on your laptop or on your computer the goal of that is to capture the shape the size characteristic or feature in 3d with an exceptional exceptional precision and accuracy how we do that is by using different type of technology, such as 3D laser scanner to create a 3D model on your laptop. How we do that? So the process is step by step. It is the acquisition, so the action of taking measurement, taking the 3D model, then the analysis of it. So we post process the data that we acquire, and then we end with a deliverable. So it can be a CAD file, so um, computer-aided uh, design, such as SolidWorks or stuff like that. For the, the more advanced people, uh, there can be different type of CAD. STL, for the beginner, STL is the file extension of a mesh or a point cloud, so the 3D data when you scan something. So kind of the 3D model you obtain by the acquisition can be exported as a STL, a point cloud, or different type of file, or it can just be a report, dimensional report, uh, or analysis for a customer. Before I jump into 
the detail of the technology. Have you ever used one or more of these solutions? So most most of the uh, the crowd today knows about Andy Scan Parable Scanner. Some of you know about Laser Tracker, and uh, a bit of long range, and obviously the drone, which is a uh, uh, trending right now in the in the industry. So we will cover a bit of the solution uh, portfolio and showcase some application related to that. So. Let's start with the benefits of 3D metrology, and I will present the portfolio of equipment with their main advantages. So the benefits of 3D metrology, 3D metrology is a complement to existing solution. It's not going to replace existing measurement solution. It's just very much a support to classic. It will have a positive impact on the accuracy, operational efficiency, and data quality. It will also help you to measure or assess some stuff that traditional measurement tool can't or struggle to take some measurement out of it. So what are these technology or metrology solution we use at Nucleon? Obviously, and it was one of the most uh, selected answer in the previous question, the portable scanner, such as the Andy scan. So measurement resolution, so the level of detail it can capture, as you can see in the above picture, can go up to 1,000 of an inch and even half of it, so 12 and a half micron with the latest technology model. The measurement per second, okay, it's about one and a half million measurement per second. So in lifetime, you get the 3D scan by placing positioning target to ensure accuracy. So these black and white, uh, dot that you see on the part will help the scanner position itself and capture in real time the 3D model that you can take measurement on your computer. The part size range of these devices can be limited due to multiple factors, can be by the amount of target we need to apply, the uh, computer memory, because the more and more we scan data, the more and more memory consumption it takes, and also in terms of accuracy, because there's a concept of volumetric accuracy. So at some point, the larger the model is, the larger the error can be at some point. So these type of devices generally are used for parts that are a bit uh, smaller up to three meter, but there's no limit. We can scan a full length pipeline because we're taking local measurement. That I will be more than happy, like I mentioned before, to, uh, to assess particular need with you guys uh, an individual session if you need it. There exists other type of portable scanners, such as a Metro scan that we showcase right now um, from Crewform uh, technology. So that device is, works in a volume. So instead of placing dots on a part, you can place zero to few target and the volume. And these cameras on tripod will, as I show in the video right now, will track the scanner itself that will project laser lines on the surface. And again, in real time, you will obtain that 3D model on the screen that we can later on use for post-processing or analysis purposes. Great accuracy and level of detail are reachable with these type of devices. With a device like this, we can reach up to 1.8, sorry, my French, part of my French, 1.8 million measurement per second. The, the nice thing about these technology is that we can extend the volume and we can go with a larger volume and take measurement over large parts such as a tractor, a car, or even a complete environment. It exists also other type of devices, and this one is very interesting. It has a smaller volume of measurement. Okay, we're speaking of less than an inch, uh, square inch measurement. But the the thing with that devices is we can reach small level of details such as a coin 
a quarter of a Canadian point. And we can see like the initial of the designer of that coin uh, right there on the on the Queens. Now, this is just to showcase the level of detail of that device. But the thing is, we can see small defect or small anomalies such as cracks, scratches on different type of, of part. Here is just to show a test tube that has um, a cavity on it that we measure with that device. And you can obtain a 3D model, a 3D mesh out of that. And you can take some section measurement out of that to uh, observe, let's say, the depth of it up to 1.5 millimeter because it's um, a thin layer, kind of a, it's a replica of our uh, finger skin, kind of. And as you press that device on the surface, it can deform up to 1.5 millimeter, but you can reach measurement resolution up to one micron. So it's really, really accurate. You can even see like all the dust or any asperities on the part. So it's a single measurement taken by six picture in that case. So that's something we can reach in some uh, situation for our client needs. If I jump with another, uh, another technology that most of you in the, in the poll uh, you mentioned previously knowing about laser tracker. So the laser tracker for the beginner, if you don't know about that thing, is you have a sphere. So it's a contact measurement system. 3D portable scanner or 3D scanner, it's projected laser line on the surface that you record the deformation of these laser lines to generate a 3D model. As opposed here with a laser tracker or the quality control system, you enter in contact with the part and you record a position or a point. So that's that sphere with concentric mirror will receive the laser line of the tracker. And as you move that sphere, the tracker by its name will track the sphere and will record a X, Y, Z chords in it. So in the environment, the technician here is taking some points on the flat surface or the flange of that part and will record by example the planeity surface roughness of that uh, part could be measuring what we call GDNT so geometric tolerancing dimensional tolerancing so that's universal language for uh, measurement so we will measure some aspect or characteristic of a part compared to a CAD model or 2D drawing, so validate the diameter. Is that cylinder cylindrical or not? Uh, sphericity of a sphere, stuff like that, by putting the sphere in contact with the object. The laser tracker is a quality control system because it has a great accuracy. We're speaking of a 1,000 of an inch per 20 feet. It has a reach of 80 meter, so more or less 200 and plus feet. So you can take a measurement between two points or level up uh, an object, do an assembly, jig adjustment, stuff like that with great precision. In terms of quality control system, it exists a wide range of technology, such as a CMM. So you might have seen that in some laboratory for a certification of calibration artifact, for instance, or car parts. It's it's widely used in the um, automotive industry, for instance, where you you put some sheet metal part or any type of part, and by contact the sphere at the tip of the the machine that will move in different uh, axis x, y, and z axis you'll take some measurement. These machines are very, very accurate, but the downside is that you cannot bring a full car and a decent size of a machine because it's not portable. It's a fixed machine where you bring some parts in. The good thing is that it exists some portable CMM. So Cruiform has one, which is the ND probe that also works with the Metro scan, so the laser scanner. So the cameras will track that probe 
uh, device, and you will be able to go and probe some, some points on the surface to extract particular characteristic, and you can also combine with a laser scanner. Again, depending on the device we use, we can reach an accuracy up to five micron and even more uh, in some of the cases. Again, this is in contact with the part, single point measurement taken, as opposed to 3D laser scan that you send a lot of laser lines on the surface, or it can be uh, structured lights, so a white light uh, type of devices that can even capture the texture and color on the surface. Speaking of laser scan, it exists another type of uh, devices that is also portable, okay? But I put it in a different category, which is the long range scanner or TLS by its uh, uh, scientific name, terrestrial laser scanner. So this scanner will project a laser line and scan 360 degrees. So uh, we'll scan a complete environment up to 100 meters and some devices can even reach kilometers. So the, the way the scanner works is that you place it in one position and it will scan a wide area, let's say that portion of the tank, and then when the scanner is done after a couple of minutes of scan, you move it and then you take with a second point of view some overlapping data, so common area, and later on you will stitch in the software the different scans to get the complete environment scan. So wide range in a couple of minutes per scan and you can reach a resolution up to 1.5 millimeters. So the smallest level of detail in the settings you can reach is 1.5 millimeter. So as opposed to portable scanner, we would reach 25 microns, so 0 .00, 0 0.0025 millimeter, here it's 1.5. And the local accuracy will be one millimeter. Here's just an example we'll see a bit later in the uh, application section of the presentation. But just to showcase, we have the point cloud of a complete environment. And here is just uh, an iPhone picture just to show the difference. And the good thing or nice to have thing about these devices is they capture panoramic picture that will help the post processing of the data and also have a nice um, feature for report when we uh, do uh, deliver the data to our customer. These devices also have the capability to capture color. So here's the black and white version of the of the scan, but you can also have the color. So if you write something on a pipe or in a tank, it will be uh, displayed in the picture. And finally, some other device or solution we can provide is drone um, measurement. So by drone, there are two type of uh, 3D scan we can perform. It's photogrammetry or LIDAR. LIDAR, it's a laser beam that it's emitted on the surface or the environment and we record that um, laser deformation to generate the point cloud. As opposed to photogrammetry, it's a bunch of picture taken at different point of view and then the softwares will take all these picture and generate a 3D model out of that. As expected, we can reach a wide range of complete environment, uh, complete, let's say, construction site um, with a speed that other devices will not reach because you fly the drone, you've seen that. It's quite fast. You can also do visual inspection with the drones, just with the camera, thermography, stuff like that that we can perform with drones. But the accuracy or level of detail would be limited compared to portable devices or even long range scanner. A nice advantage or benefit of, of using drones is you can access uh, hard to reach area where you cannot send an operator with the portable devices or confined space where it's uh, restricted to enter in an area such as um, uh, a tank or pressure vessel at some point, 
or even in mines, if you want to go and map out the interior of a mine, you can do that quickly with a draw. Let's jump in with another live poll. So rank these criteria according to their importance to you. Most important at the top. Um, oh, and sorry, changing. Good, good. Oh, measurement accuracy seems to be uh, one of the most important um, criteria for you guys uh, today. Speed of acquisition uh, on site, uh, obviously speed of report and price. So I'm glad to have a like a a close match between accuracy and speed of on site acquisition, depending uh, in what type of industry you work. These devices in general will um, help you like minimize the impact of the operator being on site because they're quite fast and they also have a high accuracy depending on the technology you use, but we can combine them to overcome the, uh, the lack of accuracy of one technology compared to the other one. Now regarding the price, depending on the technology you use, we uh, we have a variety of uh, price range, so our sales uh, team will be more than happy to assist you uh, if you have a, a need by sending you a quotation. So if I summarize the benefits in general, 3D metrology solutions will outperform conventional methods in different ways. First of all, they're fast and efficient. I just spoke about it. Depending on the technology, it's a matter of a couple minutes to perform a scan or a couple of hours, but to map a complete building or facility with great resolution. Also, why it's fast and efficient is let's say you do a survey in a building to uh, design, I don't know, a staircase. You'll send an operator taking tape measurement. It might be fast to take some measurement, but the thing is, most of the time, back in the office, starting to sketch uh, the, the part you need, you realize, oh, I'm missing some data. I'm missing this, I'm missing that. With the 3D scan, you have the opportunity to take the whole environment in a matter of a couple minutes, and then you can visualize that. And most of the time, you're not missing something. So you save also time of back and forth. The other benefits, it's that it's precise and accurate. These tools can reach some level of accuracy that standard tool will not reach. And combined to that is they are reliable and repeatable. So conventional tool, and we'll see with, with an application later on with pipelines, is that an operator taking a measurement with a caliper or tape measurement will depends on how you take the measurement and two or three operator can have differences in their measurement. Now with these tools, because they're really reliable and repeatable, any user properly trained using the technology will get the same result within tolerances of the manufacturer. So that's a great, a great deal over here for most of our customer. And finally, as you've seen so far, and you will see, these technology will grant you a visual uh, result. So by having a 3D scan, you see what has been measured. It's not only a dimension on an Excel spreadsheet, it's a measurement on a, on a screen on your computer with color maps or heat map that you can display. And also it's permanent data record. If you're not sure, you can pull out the data and then validate the measurement and extract additional measurement if you need. So let's jump into the application portion of the presentation where you will see real case scenario we did for our customer. Before end, I just want to put out what the market at Nucleum would do. By its name, Nucleum, if, you never, if you're not aware of what we do, we're on the nuclear 
uh, industry a lot. We do various component inspection, such as nozzle, instrumentation, hub, feeder, bunch of component in the industry. That's our core business, but we also diversify into the petrochemical oil and gas industries, such as pipeline inspection, spooling, any type of accessories or machinery over there. Aerospace, so we can do inspections such as dent on aircraft component, MRO, reverse engineering, uh, renewable energy and power lines, so inspection and reverse engineering of wind and wind, wind and water turbine, etc. And I just want to point out something about power lines. Um, we partnered recently with Hydro Quebec and we uh, developed uh, product line ohm and line core. So those are product for uh, power line inspection. So if you're interested or you're just curious about it, I invite you to uh, go look on our LinkedIn page or on a website about that. So it's a it's a product that the, my colleagues are really proud and worked uh, a lot on that. So that's very interesting. We all we all do also uh, mining and metals. Uh, industry, so it could be mines and quarries, uh, stockpile uh, information by drones or long range scanner, AV machinery, ship propellers. So basically anything in the industry can be 3D scanned and we can extract measurement out of that. We're also in the infrastructure, pulp and paper industries. So it can be as simple as a survey, building and component inspection, BIM, digital twins. So that's something you might have heard. That's something we worked in. So real application, it might look simple. This uh, project involved in measuring the angle, tread, pitch, diameters of a screw in order to recreate a reverse engineered CAD model. So reverse engineering is the, um, the method or the analysis of an existing part or component and then reproduce it or redesign it for improvement or just to manufacture um, a part out of a 3D scan model. We use 3D scan, but it could also have been just by measuring for simpler part, measuring the diameter angle, and then redesigning it with uh, a CAD software such as SOLIDWORKS. The advantage of using 3D scan is that you can have cross-section view and extract directly out of the the 3d scan part some measurement and just evaluate and then redesign the CAD model in the same line of project we did the 3d scan of a cover plate inside a bus so the accordion section of a bus where there's the all the machinery below that plate people stand over that so winter corrosion erosion uh, just stress on the plate, they have to change that over time. But that plate was manufactured overseas and it was super expensive, like 20,000 and above to just uh, get these plates back in Canada for repair. So the customer wanted to reverse engineer. So we went and we 3D scanned that plate and we reproduced the 2D layout and 3D CAD model for local uh, machining and uh, manufacturing. So that would reduce uh, cost by make it made in Canada. Uh, I showcased that application a bit earlier when I spoke about the long range scanner. So here yeah, I just invite you to look at the video on the screen. So even if the objective of that job was to scan the tank for preventive maintenance purposes and redesigning the tank uh, drawing, the scanner scanned the complete building. So anything in the environment will be scanned. So on the screen, you see some black uh, small scanners. So those are the position I put my scanner when I did scan the environment. And with the 3D uh, software, we're able to show more or less, do some section view of the environment and then focus on the area of interest. Here is the point cloud. And what I'm going to show you is what I showed earlier is the black and white uh, point cloud and panoramic picture. With the picture, you get the same definition as a picture. 
and you can take measurement out of that with a great view, better view sometimes than the point cloud. But the thing is, the measurement will be taken on the point cloud behind. So you're sure you're exactly at the right place on the surface. If you're interested into corrosion, uh, inspection, metal loss anomaly, and just NDT, so non-destructive inspection, that's our core business at Nucleum. So we not only do metrology, we do uh, classic NDT inspection, we do combined technology. So here the assessment was a pressure vessel, so about 40 feet long pressure vessel, and we did a long range to get the complete geometry of the tank itself. We also did portable scanners, so any scan of the corrosion at the bottom of the tank where the IS corrosion was there. And we did some UT measurement, so wall thickness measurement with phase array ultrasonic testing to extract the complete profile, so wall loss on the tank and the reservoir. And we did FEA. So if you don't know what FEA stands for, it's finite element analysis. So it's an advanced analysis we can perform on tanks or any type of object. In that case, we wanted to evaluate the maximum stress or pressure that tank could sustain. So how we did that and why we did 3D scan is to get the exact geometry of the tank. So not only using the diameter nominal information, we use the real geometry with the real metal loss, combining UT data, 3D scan data, and we perform the finite element analysis at some area, and then we can find what that thing can sustain or even evaluate fatigue or over time uh, life expectancy of that thing over the stress it uh, will uh, fill over time. A more direct application, pipeline inspection. This is something we do day to day. And just to put out a real benefit of using 3D scan is in the industry or a classic method is using a pit gauge. So that's a straight edge tool with a needle that when you move over a pit, a corrosion pit or a hole, you're going to record the depth of it. So now an operator would have to draw a grid over here and then take some measurement individually, writing down the depth of the anomaly and reporting that. The advantage of using 3D scanner is they are very accurate. And by placing some targets, you scan the surface, you get the complete scan of this, and automatically with the software, you perform a complete assessment, complete analysis and get depth and profile at every point with a virtual pit gauge. So we not only reproduce the actual method, but we do it faster and everywhere on the surface at every millimeter. So that is even more accurate than taking a point out of the surface at a different grid size. Now, when it comes to corrosion assessment, yes, we do have simple shape as pipeline, which is a cylinder using pit gauge, but sometimes we have more complex geometry, curved surface where a real pit gauge or real a conventional tool will not be able to take a measurement, especially when you're inside the curve over here. So here is a ship component that we 3D scan. Does it take a lot of time to put this target on a big uh, compound like that? Uh, that's a that's a good question. So uh, Joanie asked me uh, if it takes time to place target. Obviously, at some point, placing targets can be a downside of using this technology. That's why we have a wide variety of technology portfolio. Sometimes it's a matter of the environment. As you can see over here, there's a plastic cover around. There was scaffolding. It was not possible for us to use uh, the Metra scan, for instance, or the long range scanner would not reach the level of detail we wanted to have to measure the corrosion inside the surface. So, yes, it takes time, but if I put you back with 
the pit gauge over here. It would take even more time and at some places would not be even feasible to take accurate measurement. So here on the video is just to show the corrosion inside the curve over here, what would have been really difficult to place a pit gauge or conventional measurement, take measurement. So here what we did, we reverse engineered uh, the uh, same surface of that part the best we could and then extracted the deviation by color mapping and automatically we get the minimal uh, area in certain zones. So depending on the needs of our customer, we can perform custom inspections such as this one. A more long range application, and this can be applied to a complete building if you do survey, digital twin or a building assessment. Uh, for that project, we had the long range scanner in many position for higher level of detail and 3D scan the ship room for a, a customer that has to make his laboratory inside that ship for uh, scientific purposes. So he wanted us to 3D scan that room. And the advantage again with the point cloud is that you get the color picture if you need, and then it's a bit like Google uh, Street View. You navigate through your scan and you can navigate through your complete building sphere by sphere or bubble by bubble getting different point of view. Now you can take measurement again on the picture or panoramic picture and extract uh, different measurement and even in the software, you can extract plane surfaces, uh, extract automatically piping or stuff like that for reverse engineering purposes. So what we did based on that 3D uh, point cloud is step by step, we recreated the CAD model up to a certain level of detail. We could have reached even more detail, drawing or extracting the button, uh, putting window, bolt, and stuff like that. But for our customer purposes, it just wanted to have the general aspect of the room and the floor level, et cetera. So we extracted these components for him uh, and we can work with you step by step up onto your need. Can be either giving you a point cloud or going to the highest level of detail. For those who are in the oil and gas industry, um, aware about API standard, um, that's something we do. We do tank inspection, uh, analysis for ovality, verticality, mechanical damage detection, strapping table. Those are stuff we can do. We can perform exterior scan, interior scan. We can combine interior and exterior. Uh, those are type of project we often do. Here's a project for a long range scanner combined with Andy scan. As I showed before, uh, you can see the position of the scanner um, around the area of interest, which was the, the reservoir over there. So there was a, a leak in that conduit. Uh, there was concrete around that um, conduit. So what we did is scan that area, but the advantage again of 3D scan is you get the all environment. So if you wanted to scan the full building, we could have. So now just to show you that. These long range scanner have a level of detail of 1.5 millimeter. So as you can see over here, when we extract the point cloud, it's a bit rough. We don't have as much as detail as desired, but enough accuracy with one millimeter measurement to extract the position from column to column, overall diameter and shape and just environment restriction. But combining it with the Andy scan mesh or the 3D model over here, we can even extract the weld of that pipe and then extract the proper diameter with higher accuracy. Speaking of like sub millimeter accuracy, up to 100 microns of accuracy for that diameter. You can even see the disparity in the concrete columns. Thing is we combine these two scans. So our customer was able to properly design that uh, dynamic seal around it and then fit its support out of the general geometry of the project. So that's a great deal when you want to have the highest 
resolution or detail with the any scan combined with the generic environment with the long range scanner. If you're not interested in building or larger part, there's a typical project we do is weld preparation and the advantage of uh, using 3D scan, as I mentioned before, is you can reach or do some measurement that traditional tool might not or struggle doing it. So even with a tight opening like this, 3D scan can reach a deep area and then you can extract some interesting internal diameter wall thickness and our technology or software will reproduce traditional tool like a caliper measurement to take these uh, dimension information. Another application which combined different technology and advanced uh, measurement was to evaluate, let's say the strength or capacity of that uh, tubing structure for a customer. So what we did first is take UT measurements, so wall thickness measurement of each these, of these tubing to then 3D scan the structure to get the exact uh, dimension, spacing, height of these tubing, reverse engineer the model. So not only we take the measurement out of the, the initial design or nominal design, that structure has been there for a while. It has uh, the tank with support on it, so maybe there's deflection. So we did the real reverse engineering with real thickness of it. And then we brought this uh, complete model into the finite element analysis software where we did the uh, safety factor or evaluate the uh, capacity, the, the max load that that structure could uh, support. So it's a combination of different technology, complete uh, assessment for our customer. So in a matter of couple scans, so about eight to 10 scan, we got the complete structure and we were able to extract the measurement out of that. So various projects require 3D scanning. So I, I just showcase a bit of our project we do, but it can be as um, scanning a, a tree a winch in 3D to just see if that winch would fit in an environment. Instead of bringing the winch on the environment, in that case, that was a ship, install it and then make a rotation of it and realize, oh, that corner doesn't fit because it's a tight environment. And it's sometimes it's just easier and faster to 3D scan it, get the rough scan, and put it in a virtual assembly and evaluate that. Uh, finite element analysis and the dimensional inspection of a ship propeller. So we combine the long range scanner for that uh, propeller for just the overall shape, and then some ND scan uh, scan for higher resolution and level detail of the flat surface and uh, where the shaft is going to be inserted. Can be as simple as scanning a bolt for defect and dimensional on it uh, for investigation or dimensional of this uh, pipe conduit where you want to have a, a starting position and position. Will it fit? Will it fit in my conduit? It's really hard to extract the measurement by end of that center to that center when it has a specific curve. So with a 3D scan, we can easily extract the diameter and center position and validate 2D drawing. Or just uh, take some deviation measurement of a heavy metal part. So how we do that is by the use of different software, inspection software to measure corrosion, dimensional, mechanical damage, and sometimes on even more complex surface, such as uh, pressure vessel heads, so spherical surfaces, uh, could be an elbow on a pipe, could be to monitor damage over time in a refinery uh, industry, corrosion rate, uh, bolt, anything that can be 3D scanned, we can extract automatically feature out of that and monitor that or dent on an aircraft component. So 
bunch of software such as Creform Software, VX Integrity, Polyworks, uh, Geomagic, DesignX. Those are software we use for reverse engineering uh, ANSYS for finite element analysis. So that cover most of our technology. So let's go and jump ahead with a live poll question. So what are the main challenges you face in your current NDT, non-destructive inspection process, or just in your industry? So answer are starting to come in. So the, the answer are widely spread. So I believe we have a crowd that has an interest in any of these. It could have been all of these uh, challenge. So those are the main challenge our customer faces, but in majority is the limited access or hard to reach areas, time consuming inspection. So ob obviously, of course, uh, and this is a concern we have, especially in the nuclear environment, uh, operator faces radiation, so we want to limit the amount of time they spend in these uh, radiated area, but also sometimes just on a construction site, the less time we spend on an area, the better uh, or the other crew can jump in, so that's uh, very interesting. So what is our, offerings, uh, our service offering? Obviously, you've seen the type of project we do, but if I just summarize this, we offer acquisition. So we can give you a 3D scan, 3D model, digital twin, just a volumetric interference survey, can be quality control, so dimensional reporting, live or real-time measurement with a coordinate. So could be a jig adjustment. You have a huge part and huge assembly. You want to assemble two parts together. We can help you with that alignment measurement with a laser tracker, for instance. 3D scan inspection, so scan versus scan. So you have a part at day one, we scan it, and then we compare it at day two. Or a building, you scan it during the construction phase, and then later on we can rescan and compare the deviation between the two of them. So custom uh, inspection. Advanced inspection, so we can combine classic NDT or uh, END, sorry for the typo in French. So uh, uh, non-destructive testing or evaluation. So measurement for pipeline, pressure vessel tank. So API standard, uh, verticality, ovality. We can do BIM survey, so stuff like that. Reverse engineering. So we've seen a couple of cases. So that's what we do. Uh, we will issue you a step or I just file, for instance, a solid work format. Uh, it can be finite element analysis, so FEA, fitness for service, engineering design, so we can do signature validation of a design you did. We can perform the FEA out of that. So from a real CAD part you have or from the real situation, real life part. And we also can combine this with our metallurgy department. So if you have any uh, need in uh, metallurgy, that's something we can also offer at Nucleum. We can perform training and procedure writing, tech spec writing. That's what we uh, specialize in. We have uh, a dedicated program for training for all our technician and engineer in-house, and we deploy many technician uh, in the industry, but we also help our customer deploying uh, their technician as well uh, for project support. And we have a R and D and engineering uh, services with our team. So we have mechanical designer. We also do 3D printing for fast prototyping from the low end uh, quality for a quick um, a quick part, or it can be high end uh, high quality um, professional 3D printing. We can do. Uh, we have programming and software development uh, capability with our uh, developer and our team for dedicated application. So again, I just resume with that. We do acquisition, analysis, or post-processing of the data, and then we end you with a deliverable, such as a report, inspection report, or 3D CAD file, or point cloud, or mesh. So why do business with us? We are aimed on your cost, 
on the customer need or on your needs. So we provide tailor-made solution. With our team of experts, we are solution providers. So at every step or stage of the project, we will help you in your need. And we offer turnkey solutions. So we are a one-stop shop combining different uh, technology or different solution as NDT and metrology. So closing word. So maximize accuracy and optimize performance. So Nucleum will offer rigor, precision, and efficiency with innovative solution through our turnkey service offering. So the essential precision innovation for your needs. Think of Nucleum as a solution provider. It's now the time of the Q&A uh, sessions. You just have to ask your question in the Q&A sections. So we already have three questions. Are you providing online training of, on software such CAD, especially to show how we get 2D drawing from 3D scanning data? Uh, this is something we can, uh, we can adapt to uh, your needs. So the question was if we can help you and train you on uh, bringing uh, let's say the, the model to a 2D drawing or 3D sketching. Um, yes, we do offer a such type of training. Um, just uh, contact us uh, via the, uh, the email I will show in the next slide. We'll be more than happy to help you uh, um, solve that, depending on the software you use. Sometimes there might be a limitation. And if we can't uh, help you, we do have a partner uh, that we can direct you uh, to answer your need. The measurement resolution one micron scanner available with Creafilm. Um. So the question is the or someone is interested by the one micron resolution, um, and they mentioned by Creform. So the Creform devices will reach up to twelve and a half microns, so more or less half a thousand of an inch. The one micron resolution is um, it's another uh, devices that we use. Um, it is for a less than a one uh, square inch uh, area. I'm just going to show it back. So that device is a single point measurement will reach up to one micron resolution again. It doesn't show. Let me share back my screen. All right, sorry. So that's the device that will reach up to one micron resolution. Um, it's not Creform. It's another provider. The, the technology is GelSight. Uh, that's the one we use. Uh, it's a new technology. But uh, if you have some needs for that, uh, we also receive sample over here, so you can send a sample. We can take measurement. Again, uh, I will be more than happy to uh, to uh, do a technical call with you uh, regarding that. So let me come back to the end of it. Another, maybe we have time for uh, one more question, Joanie. Do you have some projects using a combination scanner with Max Shot? Uh, yes, it did. It did happen in the past that we can do a. Uh, the use of a MagShot technology. So MagShot is a Creform device that does photogrammetry, so it helps increase the accuracy of uh, their devices by taking picture of a larger scale environment. So uh, again, get in touch uh, with us and we can assess that. And we also have other technology that can uh, complement or uh, avoid the use of a max shot in a specific needs, but that's something we uh, we would be able to offer you. For the question that's been not answered, we're gonna contact you by email for give you the answer of it. So it's now the time for you to register to win the price of the gift card. You just have to scan the QR code and insert the questionnaire. As well, we will send you a link uh, by email uh, to fulfill that. And we will really appreciate uh, you taking the time to uh, answer that um, survey.
And again, we will uh, contact the, the winner uh, just the day uh, the day after. Uh, at the beginning of the next week, the winner will uh, be contacted. So thank you again for uh, participating in that webinar. And uh, hopefully you appreciate uh, this time. And stay tuned. We will have other webinar coming up in the next few weeks. So I wish you a great uh, rest of the day and a good weekend. Thank you. Have a good day.